Hey, I'm Kevin. Welcome to another episode of Bad Girls All Star Battle Season 2. And we are in the second to last episode. And let's get started. So, right off the bat, the girls get woken up by Dre J. And guess what? Um, it's really early, and Rachel is not playing around. So, they get dressed and go down to the to their backyard. And Ray J basically asks why they need the money or what does the money mean to them and why are they doing this. The girls, they all had stories, you know, like my grandma, my cousins, my this, my dad. And I really appreciate how Nancy was honest and was like, you know, my story is not like that, but you know, I want to invest in this money in something good so I can get something good out of this money. You know what? Like, I liked how honest she was about that. So, we also find out in that morning that there's going to be a double elimination in the next battle challenge. So, we get right to the battle challenge, and the battle challenge is called uh, the Dome or something like that. And there's a various of faces, and there's phase one that is called pushover. So it's basically like a, a long stick, and you have to push over your opponent to get a flag. And I saw this on the challenge, Fresh Me Too. And then we have um, the phase two, which is the girls who pass that. Um, the phase one they go to the ring challenge the diamond ring and the diamond ring challenge is actually it's just a ring and the girls that are still there competing that have not been eliminated are gonna grab this ring the last two girls holding on to the ring are going to the next one which is a wrap up and wrap up is actually um, the two final contestants are gonna be uh, their hands are gonna be wrapped together their right hands are gonna be wrapped together and they're gonna try to pull uh, the girl that they're competing against to get some flex so this is a physical challenge and right off the bat we got phase one we have Megan versus Shelly Shelly wins that round but I thought Megan was gonna win because you know she is a pretty smart and then we had tiana versus nancy and i'm like tiana you better do something good with this but nancy wins nancy was um saying that she was confident because every time there's a one-on-one -on -one face off she always goes against tiana and she's always beating her and at this point i'm kind of over tiana competing um, and next we got Sarah versus Rocky and we all know Rocky's a beast and I really honestly did not think that Sarah gave up it was just like okay sh this bitch is strong I am gonna try and she tried but she couldn't but I think she honest, honest like she did try the next we have the diamond ring challenge and at this point I'm like okay Rocky and Shelly got this in the back this is gonna be easy and it's gonna be Shelly, Nancy versus Rocky so at this point these girls are going at it like Nancy is not giving up they're rolling around they're pulling they're pushing they're doing everything they can to yank this ring out of the other girls um hands and i'm actually pretty surprised and i'm actually pretty um happy that nancy last lasted the um how long she lasted and she was pretty mad because she knew that if the rocky win it was like megan and her going in no matter what so next um, she loses against Shelly and Rocky and at this point I don't know why Shelly and Rocky did not work together because at this point if Nancy and Megan were against Rocky or Shelly I think they would have worked together to yank it off the, uh, the one of the other girls and I thought that would be a great idea if Shelly and Rocky would to work together to try to make Nancy lose but at this point I think every girl was from them for themselves and I gotta add that I really enjoyed that um, uh, Shelly said that um, she is a big person but that doesn't mean she has muscles and that um, she hasn't been to the gym for a long time and I think that is very true not because you're a big person it means that you're gonna be the strongest person so it's time to go to phase three and phase three 
is the final challenge and it's Shelly versus Rocky and at this point I'm like of course Rocky's gonna win but then I'm like okay but still Shelly is a big person but you know what Rocky is full of muscles and she is doing everything she can she gets the first flag and then Shelly is like you know what I'm just gonna let Rocket have it and she stops trying and she and Rocky then gets the flag and then we get a really pissed off Nancy which I totally understand why she's mad and she as soon as she sees Rocky wins and how Shelly gave her the win she goes into the house and she's just mad she's not throwing stuff and stuff like that so Rocky wins the this so at this point Rocky is the winner and you know what Rocky is really pissed off at Shelly too because she gave her the win she's like I came here to compete and not because of Shelly I'm not gonna be competing like I don't care who you are I'm gonna compete and she was really pissed and Shelly is like whatever like I feel safe she was feeling so safe that if any of her alliance won that she was gonna be safe anyways um, then Megan is trying to get into um, Shelly's head and trying to tell her that all oh, Rocky this or oh, Rocky that and this and this and I think she is getting like she is doing very good in getting in Shelly's head and then Megan wants to break up the red team with Shelly and of course by this if she can have Shelly on her side it's gonna be Shelly, Megan and Nancy versus Tiana, Sarah and Rocky which is I think would be brilliant but at this point I don't know what's gonna happen um, we see scenes from the club and Shelly's talking bad about Rocky and we get to nominations and at this point I don't know what's gonna what's going on and we the girls plead their case of why they should stay and then there's Rocky versus Nancy and Nancy is not liking how Rocky's playing the game but honest like this is how you play the game if you have an alliance no matter if they suck no matter if they're the best you're gonna get with your alliance because you're loyal until the final on, until the end but then again like if you're having troubles I mean it's cuz it, it, Nancy's mad because it's she's not going to the finale but if Camilla and all of those other girls would have stayed of course she would not put up their the Camilla and the other girls why because they're her alliance I have your back you have my back so Rock is doing no wrong so the first one up is of course is Nancy and then we get the second pick and I don't know who the freak is gonna be the second pick and the second pick is Shelly and at this point Shelly surprised I'm surprised I'm like what the hell did she just do like no 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 and then we got bad girl revenge and the bad girl revenge is back because there's gonna be a third person up and Tiana and Sarah vote for Megan to be the third person um, for elimination while um, Nancy and Megan vote for Sarah to be in the elimination so at this point it's all up to Shelly and Shelly kind of had former already in the lines with uh, with Megan so at this point I don't know who is going home and at this point I'm like she she if she sticks with Megan it is of course it's gonna be Megan and Nancy going home so Shelly is gonna stay but if she picks Sarah it's of course it's gonna be Shelly and her and Sarah is gonna be safe so I think that's why it came and she picked Megan and I'm like okay good for you for sticking but at this point she's just really mad at Rocky and she does not want to see Rocky we get to the um to the eliminations and eliminations it was unanimous all the girls voted for um, Shelly and and Nancy to go home and at this point I'm like are you girls seriously are you serious like why like Megan is a smart player she can outsmart you and at this point I'm freaking worried for the finale because like they if they were smart they would have they would have kept and Shelly it would have been less problems because she was in the alliance and still she always gives up she's not good in challenges she is way better to compete against in the finale than Megan Megan 
is an okay player, but her strategy, her mind game is way better than all y'all bitches. So if she ends up winning, it's gonna be all their fault. So seriously, I think that was a bad decision. I really want to see Megan in the finale because she's smart, but me as a competitor, I wouldn't like to go against Megan because she can outsmart me. So in the final four, we have Tiana, Sarah, Rocky, and Megan, and I believe that next week is the season finale. Yes, it is the season finale, and I believe Rock is going to win, if not Megan, but Tiana and Sarah don't stand the chance, and I really think in that finale it's going to be Sarah versus Megan versus Rocky, and Tiana's going to be leaving us next week. Um, well, pre-challenge the challenge before the finale so that's are my predictions and I have to add that well the, the nominations in the Nancy vs. Rocky um, stuff Nancy told Rocky that she was not a competitor I'm like hold 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 your horses hold up back up she is the best competitor and she can beat you anytime and she has proven herself since the first season until now but she is a competitor that's the only shit that I'm gonna back her up because she is one of the best competitors and the competitor so Nancy you're wrong and of course Nancy wants to punch Rocky at this point because she didn't get her way but of course Rocky was gonna beat her ass if this shit really happened so Nancy by Felicia like Rocky would say see you later alligators thanks for watching and next week is the season finale so let's keep watching and let's see who wins team Rocky here we go yes